All right, moving on to the uh, constant multiple rule. This is just uh, sort of like an extension of the power rule that we, uh, that we did earlier. So if you didn't watch those videos, make sure that you do because you need to know the power rule for this one. Um, the constant multiple rule basically says if you have a function that's in the form of this. So k is a constant and then n is a real number. Basically, what you can do is you can um, you can take the k out and then just take the derivative of this polynomial function here, x to the n, right? And then that you just apply the power rule to that. That's the same function that we derived in the videos before. So basically, the derivative will be we separate the k out. And then the derivative of this is just, uh, you remember you bring the n down, x to the power of n minus one. And then you can just multiply the k and the n together. So it'll be k n x to the power of n minus one. Very easy. Um, so for example, if I'm given something like, uh, let's say five x cubed, all right, and I have to take the derivative of it. Well, I would just separate the constant five, and then I would take the derivative of just the x q part using the power rule. So what happens? We bring the n down, so the three we bring down, x, and then we minus one from the exponent to get two. And then we can multiply the five and the three together, so we'll get 15 x squared. All right, so the derivative of 5x cubed is just 15x squared. So just a quick way to do it, uh, bring the three down, five times three, 15, x to the power two, which is uh, the degree minus one. Uh, like I mentioned in the, um, in the previous video, not gonna go over this result, but go over proof. The proof is in your book. Um, it's just a good way to, uh, to deepen your understanding about, uh, about what's going on here, how we get to this result. You may also get tested uh, on a proof as well. Um, it's not too likely, but if your teacher's mean, they'll throw a proof on the test. So make sure you go over those in your book.